Hey y'all, Murphox here. Today I'll introduce you to a new video format called Games in 10 Minutes. Starting off with my all-time favorite indie game called Infra by Lost Interactive. To summarize, in Games in 10 Minutes I will be trying to present you a game, usually a rather unknown or underrated game in the best way possible, with the goal of hopefully making you buy it and enjoying it as much as I did. Now, about Infra. The game itself takes place in the fictional city of Stalberg which in turn is in the fictional country of Stullen, a Scandinavian country heavily leaned on Finland, mixed with Swedish aspects, though to mention Finland and the rest of the world as we know it are a thing in the universe of this game. The city itself is located on the Baltic Sea and has about 2 million inhabitants, so just so you know what scale we are working with here, there is also a handy interactive map of Stalberg, just to deepen the detail that the developers created further. The link to it can be found in the description. Now let's talk about the game. You are playing in the skin of Marku Sultanen, a structural analyst working for the National Consulting Group. One day basically your boss just straight up walks up to you and basically says Hey Mark, up for a life threatening adventure driven by creeping through long dark and eventually collapsing tunnels, photographing broken down and abandoned stuff and risking your life to full extent? And Mark just sort of replies, You know, I did kind of have a hard night with a bit too much alcohol, and I didn't want to go on vacation. Ah oh, yes, I knew you would like the task at hand. You are my favorite employee after all. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Now here's your flashlight and your camera and be on your merry way. And if you're a good boy, I may even put in a beer for you at the end of the day. <sighs> I guess someone has to do the job, huh? What basically happens is that your company gets tasked with the structural survey of certain city infrastructure areas by the local government. As part of that survey, you get dispatched to the Hammer Valley Dam, and from there to the connected Bergman water tunnels who were built by the Bergman Group, founded by Eric Kleiman and Jan der Berg, both important characters to the secrets found following the path of the coming journey. As you do your job and walk along, you notice that the dam and the tunnels including surrounding area are in a very bad shape. So you make yourself on the way through the empty unmanned areas of outer Stelberg city, uncovering documents and structural damage with your trusty tools, the camera and flashlight at hand. That's not everything though. Soon you will begin to uncover the mystery revolving around the lack of maintenance and the cause of the structural damages on your path. You will make acquaintance with the name of Jeff Walter, a powerful individual in the city of Stelberg. He purchased a lot of the regional companies and drove them into bankruptcy, which in return had the effect of the city literally falling apart, as seen here. and many other times in the game. As what first seems to be a fight for monopoly and corruption soon twists to something way more mysterious. As you venture on, driven by one life-threatening accident due to the damage present to another. Dive deep into the historical past of Stelberg, all the way back to World War II where majority of the characters like Jeff Walter had their humble beginnings. It is then that you find out that Walter had no choice as he was driven by something way more sinister, having to do with a horrible metro accident and a certain type of green glowing hallucinogenic mushroom that seems to grow all over the city. Now it's not only the very dramatic, twisting and interesting story that should make you want to play it, but the love and detail that the developers brought to this game. As you play through it, you will encounter beautiful abandoned environments like the steel factory, You would have never thought these were possible with the Source Engine. <laughs> oh yeah, did I mention that all this is on the Source Engine? It's insane! I mean, look at these environments.
This game manages to bring you the thrill of urban exploration, going through abandoned and overgrown factories, reactivating machinery through the challenging yet intuitive puzzles and unlocking new paths. Oh, and important to mention would be that this game is not linear. Your decisions and the way you approach puzzles slash what results you get will greatly impact the story. So be sure to keep a notepad around to write down certain numbers or names you come across because they will turn out useful as the story goes very deep in detail. The city even has its own wiki. As someone who loves exploring abandoned and historical places, this game is seriously an urban explorer's wet dream. The game manages to keep up attention but will also reward you with a calm playthrough and there are rarely times where you're rushed by the game to, or a certain death to complete a certain segment. But you should be able to realize through game hints when such times may come. But clearly the best part is that the game will not punish you for failing, instead it rewards you. It rewards you with the decision of finding alternatives, learning how things work and taking you by the hand when it seems most complicated. Even if it's just Robin on the other side of a hand radio. And probably leading you to almost certain death. Hello? Finally, dude. I've been waiting for you like... Wait, you're not Irvin. Who is this? Mark. I was just... Mark! This is Robin. We have a very bad situation here. There have been some power cuts in the city. Including this power plant? Well, uh, not really. I was just doing some maintenance work here and, uh... And you need my help. The story itself on my first playthrough took me 25 hours. If you really take the time to embrace the open environments of this game and soak up every bit of lore slash story there is to find, you will easily come to 30, if not even 35 play hours with this game. If you are not yet impressed and haven't at least opened the Steam page of Infra to wishlisted, I ask you nicely to take additional 5 minutes of your life to look at the game trailers, which will eventually leave you with goosebumps. That is, if you're up for the task at hand. Citizens of Stahlberg. Let me ask you, who was it that rebuilt this city? Who was the one that protected this city and dedicated his whole life to its well-being? And yet, this is how you thank me. You believe those who betrayed us and labeled me a traitor. I know they've been up to something big, something that could be catastrophic for our future. But I won't let them destroy Stahlberg, my life's work. The corrupt officials want to silence me, but I won't let them. They will never find me, and I won't rest until everyone knows the truth. They have exploited my financial imperium for their own benefit under the veil of protecting the city and its people. They must be stopped before it's too late for the sake of our future and livelihood. They're building us. A... Uh, Mr. Walter, some men from the military just barged in looking for you. A very special thank you goes to Toronto who gratefully designed these beautiful stickers you see throughout the video. I absolutely love how they turned out. Be sure to check out their Twitter, link is in on the end card. Also a very special thank you goes to Diva Dragon as Mark who was kind enough to voice this short skit in the beginning and make it way more fun for me to edit. You can find his Twitter account in the description. Also, thank you so much for watching! I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And be sure to give feedback in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and share the video on social platforms and with your friends. Murderfox out.